Hi, this is Zach Mead with the Crypto Rises for Friday the 8th of March here at Zach's Traders Cafe. Starting off with uh, Solana, which is making decent progress after the uh, start of the month break of that uh, resistance line there from back in December. That was around the uh, $120 level. We had a little test of that as uh, new support, but uh, we've fired ahead ever since and uh, looking for $166 at the top of that October rising trend channel over the next week or so. Ideally, we stay on the right side of $140 in the meantime. Moving on to uh, what's uh, going to be the first of the small uh, cryptos, AirSwap. Here you can see that uh, we've got a massive move to the upside. Uh, it seems that this market can see that August resistance line projection currently heading towards $0.28, cents, hoping for that over the next few days, especially if we can get an end-of-day close today above the old December spike there at $0.20, cents, above 20 looking for 28 on AirSwap. Moving along to Dog Whiff Hat, and uh, here you can see that we've hit uh, so many targets, we've actually had to change the uh, projection here. So we've got a rising trend channel there from back in uh, December. Top of the channel there heading for $3, and uh, that would be the next target once we get an end-of-day close above today's uh, intraday peak through $2.40. Uh, if we can get through $2.40, then one would expect $3, hopefully, as soon as the end of this month. Ideally, we stay on the right side of the $1.80 area which was a previous target for this market. Uh, interesting suggestion now in terms of the uh, charting look that we've got. Uh, here we've got uh, Dynex and uh, here a wide rising trend channel in place since uh, September last year. We've broken through most of the near-term neckline resistance. Uh, I suppose 104 was the last major peak on the way down, so above $1.04, looking for $1.80 perhaps as soon as the end of next month, or even sooner than that. Moving on to uh, Flocky, which uh, really is uh, going great guns at the moment. Uh, you can see that uh, we've hit one of our, well, we've hit our, the top of our rising trend channel there at uh, the 018 level. Above that, uh, looking for a fresh target, which is the upper parallel of that rising trend channel from back in uh, March last year. That's heading for the 030 area, and we're looking for that sometime over the first half of March. But the key here is to stay above 018 on Flocky. Uh, less high profile situation coming up next in the form of Quenta, but it looks as though it's uh, got a bit of momentum behind it. Here you can see we've got a broadening triangle base. We've broken a line of resistance there from back in November. That was uh, versus the $95 area. And above that, that opens up the $165 area, which is a, an August resistance line projection from last week. Moving along to Kilt and uh, here you can see that uh, it is a pretty strong situation. We've got a rising trend channel there from back in July last year. We're breaking through recent resistance around 45 cents and heading towards 70 cents hopefully as soon as the end of this month. We've got the 50-day line rising and it uh, looks as though we're ready to have a decent break to the upside. Moving on to MDEX, which we've covered uh, quite a few times in the recent past here. We've still got this rising trend channel from back in October. Top of the channel there heading for $0.15, cents, and uh, that's valid certainly while we're above uh, the latest support for the shares, around $0.08. Cents. Uh, hopefully over the weekend we'll get some decent move towards that, that particular uh, destination. Next up is Orion, and uh, here beautiful mid-move consolidation uh, between $1.60 and, uh, let's say, the... Uh, $2.20 level, a break of $2.20, and we're looking for $3 during the course of March. $3 is derived from the top of that rising trend channel from basically this time last year. So hopefully we will coincide with uh, another rally at this particular time. On to Opulus, and uh, here a good-looking situation in terms of the uh, technical setup. Uh, you can see that we've just broken out of recent resistance through $0.14 cents above that. We're looking for up to uh, $0.23 cents at the top of that rising trend channel from May last year. Nice bounce uh, of this week off the uh, rising 50-day line, which is normally a decent momentum signal. On to Pepe, and uh, here you can see that uh, We've hit uh, not one but two targets here. The second one was around uh, 0 0.073, currently 0 0.085, and we're looking for up to uh, 115, which is the upper parallel of the uh, May resistance line projection. So de decent upside on tap, especially when we're up while we're on the right side of that red line there, around the 0 0.075 mark. 
Moving along to uh, a, a situation which uh, maybe doesn't look like the most liquid around, but it looks like we've got a rising trend channel base here for rally. And uh, up to the, uh, just shy of, three, well, basically on the three cents, uh, it would be the target. We're at 0.159 at the moment, so a decent upside there um, after the latest break of recent neckline resistance around 0.130. Moving along to Santos, and here you can see we've got that nice step formation here, so rising, then we're basically sideways and rising, etc., etc. Um, this situation probably we're in a rising trend channel, which is um, currently based around the $6.75 level. Upper parallel of that, probably heading towards the $12 mark, which is the top of a rising trend channel from the end of December. But as long as we stay on the right side of the, uh, uh, the $7 mark, we're looking for $12 here over the near term, perhaps as soon as the end of this month. Another one to keep an eye on over the near term is uh, Rune, and here you can see that uh, we've got the rising trend channel, in this case, in place since October. A little bear trap dip below the 50-day line and the floor of the channel, which is normally actually a good sign because it's uh, cleared the weak hands out. Above recent neckline resistance, around $6.45, looking for the top of that channel as high as $10 by the end of this month. Moving on to the last two, first one is uh, Taboo, and uh, here, uh, rising trend channel once again since October, they all, all seem to have that very similar setup, uh, above 0.23 versus 0.28 at the moment, looking for up to 0.43 by the end of this month, and it's good the way that that 50-day uh, line has started to curl up quite well. Finishing off uh, with a Turbo, and uh, here, market living up to its name in the sense that it looks like we're going to have a Pretty easy move towards uh, 014 versus 010 or 010 at the moment. Uh, looks like a mid-move consolidation. So hopefully 014 by the end of next week and then maybe up to 021 by the end of the month. That makes sense that this trend channel is actually rather wider than what we have uh, at the moment. That's it for me today. More updates over the weekend.